When you're making custom punch outs, it's important to take into account the ordering of the lines and the direction of the lines. Just drawing it will be good enough in order to make the thing. But if you want to make the thing as cost effective as possible, you need to organize or optimize your file. Now how you do this uh, is to look at your file and we need to see the order of operations. What's the, how of the different shapes that we have in this file, what order will they be processed in? Uh, if we highlight everything and ungroup it, it will give us a list here of all the different actions. Now, starting from the bottom and working our way up, that is the direction that everything will happen when the laser processes it. So if we just look at this one, all right, this line is what's going to get cut first. So then, if we go here, okay, that line's going to get cut next. Good. We're in the right order here. So they're going one line right after the other. Uh, that's awesome. So if we look, keep going, uh-oh, that's a problem. We went from way down here to way up there. That is inefficient. We want the laser head to move as little as possible. But that's not the only problem. Looking at this file, it looks like everything is going fine, but the lines have a direction as well. It's not just the order of the lines that we're going to process, it's also the directionality of those lines. To easily demonstrate this, if you highlight everything, and then go to your stroke tool in your editor and turn on arrowheads for the right hand side of a line you'll get to see the directionality of the line so now we can see that the arrowheads are kind of pointing this way going around the box like this but when we followed it everything is going directionally the opposite way so that means we are cutting this whole line and then we're skipping over to here and cutting this whole line and then skipping down to here and then cutting this whole line and that's just very inefficient. So we need to reorganize our lines so that things are uh, more efficiently cut. But when we were first looking at everything we also noticed that we were going to be down here and then go up here to cut this box. So if I go here, alright, yep, this is where I'm going to finish and then my next cut is here. So it's very inefficient to jump this big distance over here when I could jump from here or from here. I'm going to choose to jump from this arrow uh, and that saves me quite a bit of distance. It's about a quarter the distance that I would have to jump from down here. So that means we need to make sure that as we're going around this outer box that those lines line up such that we end our last cut is here and then it can move on and cut these. So let's take a look at how we do this. Uh, at the bottom we're starting here that's good because as we trace around here this we want it to be our last line so let's go to the next one okay we're over there that's no good we want that to be the last of the four lines so I'm gonna move that up two spaces alright so now we're back over here and we go here up oh, that's wrong also so let's move that up one space let's do it again starting from that corner good following the line around good we continue to follow the line around good we follow the line around and boom we're into the rest of the boxes so this is looking good everything is going how we want it to go so just making those simple changes we've actually cut off a lot of tool head imagine that we had 10 slugs of this on a sheet uh, that's a lot of time that the tool head is just moving around not cutting anything. You're still being charged for that time it's moving around because time is how we charge everything. Um, so if you want to save a bunch of money, you want to optimize. How much can you save? In this one file alone, it, if you did 10 of these slugs, you will save 46%. I'm sorry, you will save 54%. It's 46% of the original cost is what it will be. So this is you're saving more than half by just making those very simple optimizations over the course of an entire sheet. Um, you know, if this was just one slug, it's not that big a deal because it's one slug. All of our built-in punch-outs are already pre-optimized for this, so we get a good. We can offer those uh, really inexpensively. But your files, you need to go through the optimization process that we've gone through. So if you do that, like I said, go through and look at these optimizations, you can save yourself a lot of money. I hope that helps.